What's good you guys, it's Brittany and today I'm going to show you how I do a fade on fine hair. Because there is nothing to shape or deep bulk, I'm just going to go in and start my first guide. I have grabbed my trimmers and I start on one side, I bring the guide through the center of the back and then I'll turn and start on the opposite side and match it up from there. My next step is to bald them out, so I'll take my shaver and I bald them completely up to about a quarter of an inch away from the trimmer line. Then I flick out and I'll tap at that space just to be sure that I have a real seamless blend. My next step is setting in my second guide. So I have my wall magic clips with the lever open. And because his hair holds darkness pretty well, I'm going about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch above my trimmer line. I have noticed that when cutting fine hair, it doesn't really hold darkness just as well. So I would keep this closer to a half an inch if that was the case. Now I'm just gonna blend out that trimmer line. I slowly close my clipper as I blend down and I'm just watching the line disappear. And then I'll start playing with the lever, just making sure I blend out any of the darkness being sure to work in small sections and regardless of the hair texture i will always use this clipper with the ceramic blade just because i like how close and how clean that it cuts FX clipper with my one guide attached and I'm creating another guideline. I'm being sure to keep this line the same distance apart as my previous guides. I prefer using my Babless FX clipper when fading fine hair because of how softly it cuts. It helps to assist in the smoother blend. Now after setting in that guideline, I have went back and attached my half guard and now I'm going to start blending down until I erase the previous guide. You will notice that I'm keeping my pressure extremely light. That is to avoid any harsh lines because in fine hair it's extremely visible. And I wouldn't want to have to go back and fix those harsh lines that end up pushing up my fade even higher. of an inch above my previous guide you'll notice that I go over the spot multiple times I'm just making sure that the clipper picks up all the hair and cuts it at an even length now I have my one guard attached with the lever open and I'm slowly closing it as I blend down being sure not to push up my previous guideline set in the structure it's time to go through in detail so I have my Andes masters and I'm keeping in mind where I had established my previous guides while focusing on only the darker areas and blending them out for a smoother fade when I'm detailing I'm constantly turning around and looking in the mirror because it's giving me a different perspective and allowing me to see more of the darker spots that I couldn't see with my eyes until they disappear. I am also brushing down a lot on the fade to get rid of all the loose hairs so that I don't overly thin out those dense areas. So 
here is the final product. We did end up cleaning up his beard, so please don't mind the bed in the back. It was from the headrest. I really hope you guys were able to pick up a little something in this video. If you could please like it and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate you for watching.